pick her up and put her over the fence. See how they see how they get together. Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today I'm going to be stretching the tension cable to support the goat fence. Today's pretty hot. It's about 98 degrees in the sun. I've been watering all morning and bringing water up to the barn trying to get it loaded up because they've just been going through a bunch of water. And since I'm pretty much an off-grid homestead up here, I don't have access to city water or pressurized water. I rely only on rainwater. So we haven't had rain in over two weeks. So I have to bucket water up from the house water bring it up here with the backhoe and then fill up the tank. But I just got done with all that so I brought the backhoe up here to the goat enclosure and I wanted to use that as the anchor point to stretch this cable against. We're going to be using these small cable clamps, wrap it around the post, clamp it to itself, staple it into the post and uh, get a good stretch on this trying to support the chain link. I'm going to be starting on this post next to the goat hut and stretching it to the corner getting that taut and then we'll be stretching it out the longer end here all the way out to the backhoe getting probably two maybe three lines in. i want to get a low line a middle line and probably a very top line we'll see how it goes that might be a little ambitious i came up here and tightened it up with the twist wire and it's already a tighter enclosure than the one that they're in right now yesterday i came through and tightened it up with some twist wire so this enclosure is already tighter than the one that they're in right now I would just like it to be even more secure. They're getting bigger and I don't know how rowdy they're gonna get, so I might as well make it as strong as I can. I need to grab a few things before I get started. I need some staples, a hammer to pound them in. I also need these clamps and to figure out what's gonna tighten these down. These have tiny little nuts on them, so I'm gonna need a small wrench or socket if I can get it to fit in between there. I'm gonna be putting the cable around the post and then both leads through the clamp and tightening it down so I can have a nice tight loop. I'm also gonna need my tripod so I can work hands free and maybe a bottle of water. I'm working on it, goats. Hey, girls. Come on, pup. Go below and keep it as low as we can. There's two options. This should so, hold it. We just don't so just squeeze these together and hold it. Ratchet so. strap and that we can just I can just pull pull that and you can staple it. Because that's not like that clips or anything. Right. Wood. 
Let me get a steak or an antler. Yeah. Okay, come, come up. Max is coming up now with a duck. You hear me? Where you? Mom called me. He's here. Does that go okay with him? Oh, we got a duck rescue. Buddy. What's he have, puppy? Yeah, puppy. Buddy, puppy, buddy. 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 I don't know if we want to put the whole crate and just tip it. Yeah. Good. Just pick her, pick her up, and put her over the fence. See how they, see how they get together. Once you put them in the dark, they usually are. Hey, can I be your friend? <laughs> My boys is checking them out. They got blind right in. Yeah, yeah it's too tall with one eye. Oh, yeah. Actually, one of the numbers. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> and she's holding her head up high so she can be higher in the pecking order. Draco coming back? <laughs> yeah, we'll be cool. <laughs> yeah. You can probably tell which one's that one because it's got like black on black the nose. On the beak, yeah. That's because she's older. It's not actually black. Doing? It's not black on the beak, but yellow is beta. Yeah, okay. She's pulling out the whatever mineral they have in their beak is the same they use to produce eggshells. Oh. So as they get older, they pull that out of their beak and put it in their eggshell. Oh, you did? It's on her feet too, I think. Is it the same thing for the feet? Yeah, same color. Yeah. They pull the coloring out of their rest of their body for their eggs. She led them right into the goat area. No, that's theirs. Uh, Goats are where they go. Release it. A couple updates this morning before we get back to work on that fence. I did put that rescue Pekin duck in with the rest of the ducks inside their triangle house last night, hoping that they'd be okay. They didn't seem to be picking on her at all whenever I let her in there. But this morning when I got up, I could hear the ducks quacking in their house, which they're not usually that loud. So it gave me some anxiety. So I came up here and opened the duck house first. And whenever all the ducks came running out, I could see a red spot on the new duck.
So I do believe it was probably Mumbles getting on top of her and ripping the feathers out of behind her neck there. But I did see even the Khaki Campbell and maybe even a Pekin actually taking a shot as well. So I did pull her out this morning, gave her own food and water out here with the chickens. So she wasn't getting picked on all day. But she does seem like she wants to go back into the duck pen with the rest Which of them. makes sense. I want her with the ducks because they all make the same amount of water mess. And I don't want one duck with the chickens messing up all the chicken water. So I'd like to get her in the pen with all the other ducks, but I don't want her getting hurt. So I did treat her with the Vetterson spray to try and clean up the wound, and then hopefully it's going to start healing. I can get her back into the pen with them, and maybe each time they get introduced, it'll be better. Are you wanting to go back in, girl? I'll send you back in there. I just feel bad. Come on. Walk that corner, pup. There we go. All right, you let me know if they're picking on you, girl. See, look at Mumbles. Look at that. So do you think they just need to establish their pecking order and it'll calm down? Or does she need a little bit of protection before getting introduced to a large adult flock? I did look some things up and I didn't see anything about introducing an adult duck into a mature flock. So it was all about juvenile ducks coming in younger and not getting beat up. I'm going to run to the store pick up some clamps. Hopefully she can make some friends in here. She has enough space hopefully to get away if they start picking on us again. But oh, all right, hey, Dizzy, Dizzy, what are you doing? Dizzy, no, come back, come back Dizzy, go back out, we're not sharing pens yet, I'll let you in and later. So I did put this shade tarp up recently and ever since I did, the ducks haven't used their water, they just sip out of that one tote on the end, I think they're afraid of it moving around and flapping, so hopefully they get used to it and they can actually utilize the shade it provides, my ducks. What are you doing? Get your big goat butt off my fence. Oh, that's how you're doing it. That's not supposed to be right next to the fence, goat. Yeah, goat, I'm gonna have to move that. Oh no, this is her. This is her here. Yep, she's getting beat up by the khaki. You mean little khaki? All right, goats, let me fix your tires. Excuse me, bud. I can't have this next to the fence. You end up jumping out. <laughs> you silly goats. Come on, give me that tire. There we go. Yeah, there you go, goats. Get you all fixed up for the day. There you go guys, your playpen's all back together. Your little, your little playpen. Little goat. Hey little goat. Easy simple latch and it's been working great. This one's just for extra, extra support. Yeah, cause you're a jumper. Hey little piggies, how you doing? No, you can't eat me. I did finally look at the pigs, and we have a girl pig, and we have a boy pig. So they're not both males, and the girl pig's getting a little sweeter than the boy pig. He's still a little scared, but the girl pig has spots, and the boy pig is all pink. If you have any good names, let me know. I'm still letting them develop a little personality before I figure out a name for them. Oh, buddy. We have some egg songs going off.
All right, time to open up the birders, go to the store. Dizzy, is that you? Ladies, do you have a Dizzy out? Hold on, Pop, that looks like a big chicken. Is that Dizzy? You look too big to be Dizzy. Come here. Come here. Oh, I could let eat. Yeah, you sound like Dizzy, though. How'd you get out? Come here, little bird. Come here. I thought we were friends, Dizzy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I got you, Diz. What are you doing out here, bro? I, I love her voice. Yeah, you got your own voice, Dizzy. Here you go. Go home, Dizzy. Goats! Well, while I was doing some editing, I realized I never actually finished this video up. So my dad and I were able to get the next set of lines ran on the bottom and the middle run, but then we ran out of the cable we were using to do the top run. I do think this is going to be plenty of support, though, for the goats right now. This is much more secure than the pen that they're in right now. So with the three lines on this side, we got all the wood cleaned up here, so I don't think there's any point where they'll be able to make the hero leap over the fence. The cattle panel's all secured here to the front. So all we have to do is gate up the front end here and then we're ready to bring in the goats. I also have to finish off that door there, but we're gonna be working on that today. And then in a video coming soon, we'll be moving the goats up into their new enclosure with all this grass that they'll be able to forage through and all these logs that they'll be able to climb on. I've been waiting quite some time to get their goats up into their new enclosure, so I'm excited to see them out here. That's all for this one. If you enjoy nature and want to follow along on my progress here on the homestead, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave. You can see me and Echo all in the next one. Thanks for watching.